Okay, guys, today marks the opening of the LeagueGaming.com seasons for NHL Club. I want to go over the do's and don'ts for some new guys to the site that are in the CHL and some hot takes and tips that will help you make your season go a little bit smoother. I'm No Sleeves 12. So guys, like I said, this is for all the newcomers to the league that are in the CAHL and just starting out their first first season on LeagueGaming.com. What I want to go over is, the, like I said, the do's and don'ts of, of things that you want to do on the site and with your team. Um, there is a lot more politics than what you might think. The site is super organized in that you basically, for the CHL, there's 60 teams. They all have at least 17 rostered players plus TCs. TCs are basically training camp players. If you're brand new to the site and you didn't get a bid, then you are listed as a TC. And I'm going to show you what that means and where to go to find that kind of stuff and that information. But basically, come the start of the season, if you sign up late or whenever you sign up, within a few days you're going to be randomly assigned to a CHL team. Then you can start working on your career in LeagueGaming.com. So quickly, let's go over how to find out where you're, where you are, what team you're assigned to. So let's pretend that you're a TC and that you've been randomly assigned to a team because you've signed up late to the CHL season, or you weren't, uh, you weren't in bidding. So basically, what you want to do is, any time you sign onto the site, you want to look at the top right toolbar. You're going to see your name. Mine says No Sleeves 12. Then Inbox. Then Groups. Then Alerts. Alerts is the most important. If you ever see an alert in the top right, you need to see what it is. It can be many things. It could be one of the um, BOGS uh, Board of Governors on the site, the main guys trying to give out a, a you know a message about any important things going on on the site. It is also going to tell you if you are scheduled for a game, if you've been called up, if you've been traded, anything like that. You need to be sure if you have alerts, you need to look at what, what's going on. Besides that is groups. Groups is essentially once you get assigned to a team, you're going to be put in the group for that team, um, meaning that it's basically a really basic chat um, that, uh, um, that, you can, that you can use, and basically all you have to do in that is go into groups, you'll see the team chat, you basically just want to say, hey, is there a team Discord? Almost all teams should have a Discord, and if you don't know what Discord is, just Google it, you need to download the app, and it's basically a really, really good chat service that almost all teams use. It's much more seamless, easier to use, and you can stay in constant com communication with your team. Inbox is if someone specifically messages you. Um, again, you want to check these regularly if you have any inbox. Most of the time, your notifications are just going to be groups, and it's going to be new people on the team just asking for the Discord, that kind of thing. The next page I want to show you guys is your profile page. So if you click on the top right beside inbox, you'll see your name, you'll get a drop down, and then you click on your gamer tag again. Mine says no sleeves 12. It'll bring you to the page below, and it's going to show you your stats for all seasons and things you've done on league. This is extremely important because, again, if you're playing with a new team, you have no idea who's who's any good or who's you know average who's brand new to the site who's a veteran have been around that you should probably talk to um you know to kind of chew their ear about what they should what you should do to improve at the game this is where you're going to want to go also be be aware that when anyone from the ahl or nhl is looking for guys to come to play games with they're probably going to check you out or when draft time comes um, if you, they're doing blind bidding or blind drafting and they're just going on stats alone, this is where they're going to go. So you want to always constantly be aware of your stats. Lastly, before I get into my tips on what to do, I want to make you guys aware that this site is 70% politics and 30% skill. What I mean by that is you have, in the CHL specifically, you have 60 owners, guys that are in charge of how your season's going to go. Who you talk to, how you talk to them, the friends you make, the guys that you make enemies with is going to determine how you do um, in the league and, and, and beyond. What I mean by that is if you have a fantastic season but you're a cancer in the shell box or in your team Discord or on the chat, that's a good way to get traded eight times in a season because no one really wants you regardless of how good you are. Remember, you're spending an entire season with these kids, eight weeks of playing at least three times a week, plus all the times that you guys just you know group up and do drop-ins or club games and things like that. If you piss everyone off, it does not matter how good you are. Winning is fantastic, but the second you lose and you're a cancer, you're probably traded. 
So just remember, guys, that these tips are going to be more about how to get ahead in the site and you know how to network essentially um, and and move and move on in the higher leagues like the AHL and the NHL. All right, so let's begin. Quickly, guys, for anyone that doesn't know who I am and why you should be listening to me when I'm doing this video, last season was my first season in LeagueGaming.com. I was randomly assigned as a TC to Valdor. I went from being a Valdor TC to a rostered player to getting it nominated for the All-Star Game, which didn't really happen, but it's basically just a social award. But regardless, no one knew me, and I was I was nominated for the All-Star Award. I then was the a ended up as the AGM for Valdor, won the Memorial Cup, all my first season, and I was drafted in the first round by Vancouver on on PSN, and then I was bid on by the Carolina Hurricanes on Xbox. So, again, guys, I am not a superstar. Anyone on the site that knows me, I'm not, you know, a legend or anything like that. I just managed to understand how the politics and things like that on this site work and use it to my advantage, and now I went from CHL to NHL in one season. So, guys... Let's get ahead with the seven commandments of every CHL player that you need to follow. This applies to every TC out there. They aren't guaranteed playing time in the CHL. So here's what you need to do. Play anywhere. There is no position lock in CHL. So what I mean by that is if you see that on your team you have a stacked forward group and you know that you play forward, don't play forward. Here's an example of how my first season as a TC went. I was randomly assigned to Valdor at the beginning of Season 5. I was a goalie. I signed up on the site as a goalie. My owner, Silky, came to me and said, Hey, what do you want to play? I said goalie. He said, We've already got a pretty good one, which turned out to be the best goalie in the entire CHL. So I said, Okay, any forward position, and I'll be fine. He said, I'm going to put you at right D. Now, I could have been like, ah, I've never played defense in club at all, which is true. In any NHL game prior to this, I had never played defense in club at all. I had no idea what I was doing, but I'm a smart individual, and I know I can learn. So I was like, okay, that's fine, because that at least got me playing time. So, guys, you need to worry about playing time first, and then worry about skill and things like that. You need to understand that your team is going to determine how well you play really. You could be a superstar, but if the four guys around you don't play really well or you don't play well together, it's not going to matter. So you, if you need to learn on the fly like I did last year, you need to understand that playing time is the most important. Now, that's, now what I mean by that is don't play f goalie if you've never played goalie. That's the only position that you should not touch unless you are confident that you can play it. But other than that, do whatever you can for playing time early on. The second commandment, sign up as early as possible for your games. Okay, guys, I'll show you how to do it on the site, but what you want to do is make sure that your owner knows your availability because what's going to happen as a TC, you're only going to get games if the roster player that signs up can't make it. Okay, so if you sign up early before Saturday, right when you're available to on Friday, sign up for all your games that you can do next week. Okay, your owner's going to see that makes life easy on him because when he goes to do his schedule and his lineups on Saturday or Sunday, um, he's going to see that you've already done yours and your name is going to be there first. So you're going to be the first one to get the call if uh, if a player can't make it. So you need to make sure that you sign up for your games as early as possible. Now, to do that, again, you go to the CHL page, you scroll down on the right-hand side, and you hit Team Locker. Once you hit Team Locker, there's a Sign Up for Games button. You click on that, and then it'll show you all of the positions and everything for each game for the upcoming week. You hit the plus button on the position that you can play on every single day that you can play it. Okay, and again, as a TC, you want to sign up for as many as possible because... If one of those guys can't make it, then you get the call, okay? So make sure that you sign up for your games as early as possible to make it easier on the owner. The third commandment, never complain about playing time. What I mean by that, guys, is if you're a TC, okay, remember that no one owes you anything yet. You've signed up for the site, and the site has randomly generated a team for you. They've done all they can. They've put you on the team, 
and you're a random TC, that's how it works in this. You weren't bid on, you weren't traded for, anything like that. You need to remember that you are brand new, and the guys that are rostered might have been around for a season or two, okay? Never complain to your owner, to other players, and especially the shout box. The second you air your dirty laundry to the entire league that you're, you know, having a piss baby time about your experience with your team that's a one-way trip to get traded and if you're traded because of an issue like that the next owner that gets you is already going to start that relationship in a negative stance because he knows that you were you know whining about playing time prior if you're a tc please guys sign up for your games talk in the discord you know joke around whenever they want to do drop-ins or club games go and go and play with them but never complain about playing time. Okay, guys, in my first season, I was just happy to be there. Okay, I signed up for the games I was able to. My owner put me in, and, you know, it, it went well. Now, if you do well, and you think that you're better than some of the other guys in your team, that's your owner's call, not yours. If it goes so bad, though, that, you know, you're being harassed or anything like that, request a trade. But really, guys, what you want to do is never complain about playing time anywhere and i swear especially in the shout box because you'll be famous for it and you'll just look like a little bitch the fourth commandment be as active as possible in the shout box and on your discord like i said guys there's a ton of politics to league gaming okay the more that you're active in the shout box the more that people are going to remember your name subconsciously the fact that you talk a ton in the shout box they're going to associate that with you being better than half of the league that doesn't talk because, again, even though they haven't looked up your stats, they at least can see your name and know your tag, okay? Now, the more active you are, the more that you're going to get, you know, dropping games with guys, things like that. You want to network. You need to meet as many people as possible in your first season of League Gaming. I have an office job. I literally just had one monitor on the CHL shout box all season long because I had nothing else to do at work, and it was an easy way to meet buddies and whatnot. And like I said, I got an all-star bid, and the all-star bid is literally just a social award, okay? It is just whoever... Whoever is more known, essentially. And I had never played League before, okay? So, guys, just make sure that you're as active as possible in the show box and on the Discord. But don't be annoying. If you want to chirp somebody, that's fine. But don't be an idiot and don't look dumb, okay? That's all I'm trying to get across. Just be as active as possible in the chats. The fifth commandment. Understand the important stats in League. Everyone's going to think that points are the most important. Incorrect. Among forwards, it is pretty important, but for defensemen and goalies, it doesn't really matter. What you want is wins. It does not matter how much you win by, just get your wins. Don't worry about anything else. Don't be concerned that you're maybe not getting enough assists, not getting enough goals, things like that. It will come. Like I said, I didn't even play defense at all in club before last season, and I had to learn how to actually play the position. It wasn't until like the 12th game into the season that I actually would, was something in the offensive zone. Okay, now I was on a god team, and I got lucky like that, but still, I couldn't contribute really until about halfway through the season when I actually learned how to you know, do stuff in the offensive zone, guys. So worry about your wins and your plus minus if you're a defender. As a forward, obviously you want some stats. You want to aim for at least a point per game, okay? But if you're struggling, then you need to work with your line mates. One player cannot do everything in this game. Here's a perfect example. Gunass, the best player in the league basically last year. He went first overall in the NHL draft. He was our, our best, if not second best player on our team. He was on the worst team in the CHL, and as good as he was, he was below 500. Then he came over to us, and we're, we had a fantastic group, and it just exploded, and we broke pretty much every record, offensive record there was. So guys, just remember that you need to focus on the stats that are important, and for new guys that are brand new, just worry about wins, and that's it. The sixth commandment, don't think you're good. Okay, again, if you're this is your first season in league gaming, you need to understand, I don't care if you're an ego teenager or someone who's been playing the game for 8 to 10 years, okay? There are people that are better than you, probably on your team. There's going to be a ton of learning opportunities for you to get better at this game right within your team. What you want to do as a TC, message your owner. Ask them who the first line or who the best player is on their team at that position. Then, 
you seek out that player and ask him some tips or even just ask your owner, what would you like me to do? What would you like me to focus on? As a defenseman, do you want someone to do DDD passes? Do you want someone to stay back quite far, make sure that they cover breakaways, things like that? They will tell you what they want, okay? And normally they might not seem to care, but at least if you're seeking out your the knowledge, you're, you can learn a little bit. If you just assume you know what you're doing, you're probably going to just get roasted and end up, you know, not getting any playing time. So, again, guys, just seek out the knowledge from the players that are better than you. The seventh commandment. Never, ever complain about your teammates, whether it be skill, whether it be them being annoying, anything. Do not complain, you know, about them to anyone on the site. If someone comes to you and goes, man, that kid's brutal, just say, ah, I had a rough game, things like that. Because the second that you get a reputation for being someone like that, you're going to be looked as like you think you're better than everyone. And you're not, really. There's so many good players on this on this site that very few have the actual ability to match their ego, okay, with, with their skill. So guys, don't ever complain about anyone. If someone had a bad game, just say you want to play together a little bit more to get some chemistry. Don't bitch. When a goal goes in that a goalie should have had, just say, hey, man, you'll get the next one. Don't be a cancer. Okay, guys, being a cancer, especially in your first season, can destroy your entire career on this site. And this site is fantastic for competitive NHL. That's why you're watching this video. All right, guys, so those are my seven commandments that every CHL player should follow. Throughout the season, I am in the NHL on Xbox, and I'm in currently in the AHL on PSN, but I will spend a ton of time in the CHL because it's where I had you know, it's where I started last season, and I had a blast in the show box and playing with uh, some buddies, and I now have buddies that have taken ownership, and I'll always be around for any questions or anything like that. If you guys ever want to know some, you know, tips or tricks about how to play defense, or at least how to fake being a half-decent defenseman, I'm the master of that. All right, so don't be scared to hit me up on Twitter, on the site, on Twitch, anything like that. Just make sure, you know, you come to me, and I'll, I'll answer it as best as I can. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm No Sleeves 12. You guys stay average.